Alright, Shalom Yashirala. Back again with another Lord with an edifying video through the spirit and the power of Yahweh, Baha Shem Shai. Before I begin this lesson, I want to give all honor and glory and praises unto the Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Wachakwadash. Next up, the Bahamas to the apostles and to the elders of Great Millstone, who still go out to the hours and bowers and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible and Ruel. And peace, blessings, and safety and mercy unto the Akims out there who is pushing the truth in the four corners of the earth with boldness, righteousness, and in sincerity to the best of their abilities in the names of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. And pretty much today's lesson, man, is, um, Going in, it's gonna it's gonna be called always have faith in Yahweh. Why Yahweh Shai, man? Always have faith in the Lord, man. You know, always trust, believe, and have faith in the Lord, man. You know. So without further ado, we already know what first scripture we're gonna go to. We'll prove what is faith. This is the book of Hebrews, chapter eleven, verse one. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Right, we don't, we don't, we don't see Lord Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai physically, man. You know what I'm saying? We don't have the um, like um, how should I say? The higher elites have our records and stuff like that of us being the ancient biblical Hebrew Israelites. You know what I'm saying? But um, we we don't have the records of our uh, ancient forefathers. You know what I'm saying? To um, how should I say to uh, further prove that we're the Hebrew Israelites? That's why this is a um, this is a spiritual thing, man. You know, it's a spiritual thing. You know, and of course, there's other books that back up that we are the Hebrew ancient Hebrew Israelites. You know what I'm saying? That we are the uh, we are the people of the book. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians and confusing the faces whose bloodline is sending up back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob are the biblical Hebrew Israelites. Man, there's plenty of books out there that proves that. And there's plenty of testimonies of Jewish, so-called Jewish people and other uh, whistleblowers that proves that we are the Hebrew Israelites. But so far as us having our, our um, Every record or ancient ancient records and stuff like that, we already know that the higher elites have that, man. You know, but uh, we don't see how about Shemuel shot physically, man. You know, we didn't we didn't go there to um we didn't go there and see our, our forefathers tomb. You know, that's why this is a faith. This is a thing of faith, man. You know, we don't we can't see um we can't see uh, the angels. You know what I'm saying? We can't see the angels. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know, there's a lot of things that's spiritual that we can't physically see with our eyes, but we know that's there, man. We have, we have, we believe that it's there, man. Matter of fact, we know that it's there. You know, and we're gonna go from there to the uh, verse six. This is Hebrews chapter eleven, verse six. But without faith, it is impossible to please Him. Right? It's impossible. Without faith, it is impossible to impossible to please Yahweh. Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, man, the creators of the heavens and the earth, man. You know, the God of the Bible, you know, the King James 1611 Bible. Without faith, which faith is something that's um, uh, pretty much, uh, like it says, uh, faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, right? So we believe in something, we really trust in something that's not, uh, we can't physically see. So without having that 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 trust, that belief, that confidence, you know what I mean? It is impossible to please Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because if you want to see if you actually want to see something that's not physically seen with your eyes, for instance, let's say, oh, um, you want to see an angel or something like that. You're being carnal, man. You're being of the flesh, you know what I'm saying? Instead of being spiritual and believing that uh, an angel is there, you know what I'm saying? You know, just because you can't see the angel doesn't mean that it isn't there. That's the type of mentality you gotta have. Okay, I might not can't see the angel, you know what I'm saying? But I might not see a how about shy. But guess what? I know that they exist, and I know that they are the angels are among us, man. I know that Lord Yahweh Shah exists, even though I've never seen him. You know what I'm saying? You know, in this lifetime, anyway. You know. We can't see it with our physical eyes, you know. So, uh, that's why this thing is about faith, man. 
verse 6, but without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to the Most High must believe that he is, right? And that's what the name Yahweh is, man. He is. He exists, man. He is the Almighty, man. You know? He is the creator of everything, you know what I'm saying? You know? Yahweh created his son, you know what I'm saying? You know? And then with the angels uh, along. Yahweh shot with the angels along, man. You know? And he gave him the blueprint to create the, uh, the, the, uh, everything that you see. You know? So the Most High is everything. The Most High, Yahweh, is Almighty, man. He is. He exists. He is the Almighty. You know? Along with his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. You know, who he gave heirs to the throne. You know, he sits at the right hand. Uh, Yahweh Shai sits at the right hand of his father, man. And that he is a rewarder. Rewarder of them that diligently seek him, right? And who is that them that is talking about? I was talking about the elect, man, which we're hoping to be, man. You know, uh, the hopeful elect is going to diligently seek the Lord, man. Continually seek Yahweh Bashim Yahashai. And how do you seek the Lord? You know what I'm saying? By listening to uh, the men of the Lord, man. You know, that's how you, that's how you, um, you seek him, man. You know what I'm saying? You seek him by his men that he set up on the highways and hedges to um to condemn this this wicked sinful sinful wicked kingdom and to uh bid in the uh the uh hopefully elect into the marriage, man. You know. So um he's gonna reward us, Lord when we got those number. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna reward the elect, you know what I'm saying? Um that's diligently seeking him, man. You know? It's trying to get closer to him day by day, you know. Uh, Salakia, so I can, uh, you know, just woke up not too long ago. Sorry, I'm not that sorry if I'm not as enthusiastic as I used to be. <laughs> that I usually am, but the spirit was just on me, man. As soon as I woke up, you know what I'm saying? Hey, just, just, just put in some work right quick. So this is the book of Psalms, 91, verse two. So this this lesson pretty much is going in like trust and faith, man. Believe in Yahweh Baha Shimmy or Shai, man. This is the book of Psalms 91, verse 2. I will say of Yahweh, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In Him I, I would trust, right? Yahweh Baha Shimmy or Shai is our refuge, man. You know, He is what we run to when, um, when times of trouble. You know what I'm saying? But not only when it's the times of trouble, even if we're um, if we're prospering or we're sustainable in the society, man. Like uh, we got the money, you know what I'm saying? We got we got a car. Everything is pretty much everything is running uh, pretty good, you know what I'm saying? In our lives, we still praise Yahweh by Hashem Shai. We're not like these Christians out here that only run to the Lord whenever there's something bad happening, man. No, whether we're doing good or whether we catching hell, we will always praise Yahweh Baha Shimi Shah. I always trust in Yahweh Baha Shimi Shah, man. You know, as a matter of fact, uh, excuse me for one second. Um, let me look up something right quick on my other phone, right like quick. Uh, yeah, Yahweh Baha Shimi Shah is what we always want to put our trust in, man. You know. Because only Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai can only um can uh can get us out of this situation. You know what I'm saying? Uh he, he's the only one that can uh, uplift these curses, man. Get these curses off of us that we might live um that we might live a righteous and peaceful life, man. You know? This is the definition of refuge. A condition of being safe or sheltered from pursuit, danger, or trouble. Right, so Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai is our refuge, man. You know what I'm saying? He's what we, uh, when we, uh, when we say the names of Yahweh, Baha Shem Yahweh, we have faith and belief in that, and um, we're, uh, we're, we're we we feel safer, man. You know what I'm saying? The scripture says that the name of the Lord is a strong tower, man. The scripture also says that uh, the Lord is a buckler. You know what I'm saying? Which is a shield, man. And to them that call upon him, man. Just roughly paraphrasing. You know. So. Uh, Saying that, so this scripture right here is saying that he's Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, my refuge, my fortress, uh, my God. 
and him what I trust, right? We will always put our trust in Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, the hopeful elect man of the nation of Israel, which consists of so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, and confusing their faces, man. Starting with our head apostles on down, man, because our head apostles been preaching this truth diligently, man, and having faith in Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, for over three decades, man, you know? So starting off with our head apostles on down, man, we will always put our trust in Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, man. You know, y'all by Shema Shah is our refuge. Started with our head apostles, a great millstone on down, man. You know, because those are the true men of the Lord. Those are, you know, those are the uh, the shepherds that are, uh, you know, that's after the Lord's mind, you know, heart. According to the Lord's heart, man, the apostles and the elders are a great millstone, man. You know, so I'll pull out one more. This is the book of Psalms. Let me see what it is. Let me see if it's the right one. Uh, this is the book of Psalms, chapter 130, verse 5. I wait for the Lord, Yahweh. My soul doeth wait. And his word do I hope. Right. We, we were hoping, Yahweh, by Shem We wait. We wait patiently, which the word patient goes back to the word suffer, man. So we suffer waiting for Yahweh, by Shem Shai, man. Because the scripture says in Zephaniah, the third chapter, in the eighth verse, Zephaniah, it says that wait ye upon the Lord, man, to the day that he rises to the prey, man. So this is what the hopeful elect is doing. We're occupying until Yahweh Bashim Yahweh comes, man. You know? And his word, his word is what? The King James Holy Bible, man. You know? Every word that's written in the scriptures, man, we hoping for it. Just like Revelation 13th chapter in the 9th verse and the 10th verse, man. When it, uh, 2 Thessalonians 1 and 6, man. Any scripture that talks of the really the whole the whole book, you know what I'm saying? But right now I'm pretty much going in on um, us having the kingdom of heaven, us having uh slaves, us um getting our revenge, man. You know, of course your Lord Yahweh Shah is going to his revenge first, but hopefully we, if we are those number the elect, we're gonna get our revenge as well. You know, because the scripture says in Ezekiel twenty five and fourteen that he would get vengeance by the hand of his people Israel, man. You know, that's the elect. The Lord willing, we all did that number, man. You know? That would be uh, on the long side of the Lord Yahweh Shai. You know? So with that, we have to wait, man. You know? You know? Just read it again. Psalms 30 and 5. I wait for the Lord Yahweh. My soul, my soul doeth wait. And in his words do I hope. Right? Which is the Bible, man. The King James 1611 Holy Bible. In every word from front to back, we have faith and we have hope in it, man. And we believe in it, man. You know, because these are the words of the Lord, man. These are the Lord, the words of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that he put in his holy prophets to write down, man. As testimonies, as law, statutes, and commandments, man. You know? Because these words are faithful and true, man. You know? The King James Holy Bible 1611, you know, or the words of Yahweh, Baha Shem Shah, by the inspiration. He gave the inspiration unto the men of the Lord to write them down, man. You know? So, if that Lord within this video was edifying for you, I can draw that as watching. I want to give all honor and glory and praises unto the Heavenly Father and to His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rachakwadash. Next up, our honors are to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, who still go to the harvest of Bibles and feed us with the 100% truth according to the Bible, and who rule well in peace, blessings, and safety and mercy unto the Yachims out there who is pushing the truth in the four corners of the earth with boldness, righteousness, and in sincerity to the best of their abilities in the names of Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. With that, uh, Kwame Ashwala.